Today we are going to talk about entity relationship design issues part of database management system course. There are several design issues that need to be considered when designing a database using the entity relationship model. Entity types. It is important to identify all of the entity types that are needed to represent the information that will be stored in the database. This includes determining the attributes of each entity and the relationships between entities. Primary keys. Each entity in ER model must have a primary key, which is a unique identifier for each instance of the entity. It is important to choose the primary key carefully, and it will be used to identify and access the data in the database. Relationships. It is important to accurately represent the relationships between entities in the ER model. This includes determining the cardinality of the relationship. Example, one-to-one, one-to-many, many-to-many, and deciding how to implement the relationships in the database. Attributes. It is important to carefully choose and define the attributes of each entity as they will be used to store the data in the database. It is also important to ensure that the attributes are relevant and necessary and to eliminate any redundant or unnecessary attributes. Normalization. It is important to normalize the ER model to eliminate redundancy and ensure that the data is organized efficiently. Normalization involves dividing the data into smaller, more atomic tables and establishing relationship between the using foreign keys. By considering these design issues, it is possible to create an effective and efficient ER model for a database. It is important to carefully plan and design the database to ensure that it meets the needs of the users and is easy to use and maintain. Thank you for watching.